and I greet you in the preeminent name of Jesus. Today we're looking at our 11th demonic in internal medicine and we're going to be covering five A's of Gilliam Barr syndrome. Did you hear about the mathematician who suffered muscle pain when writing out equations? He was eventually diagnosed as having fibromyalgebra. <laughs> and what is first prize in a competition to lose muscle mass? It's a trophy. <laughs> So guys, we know that Guillain Barr is otherwise termed acute inflammatory demyelinating polyneuropathy, all right? So the first A in terms of remembering the clinical features is that it's acute in onset, typically lasting from between a few hours up to four weeks. It gives you an ascending pattern of weakness, a neuropathic pattern. So it starts distally and progresses proximally, typically. It's aleflexic, and this is the main departure point versus a myelopathic process. Because in spinal cord involvement, the reflexes can vary from uh, being hyper to hyporeflexic, depending on the chronicity of the issue. But in Guillain Bar, it's always aleflexic. You may have associated sensory symptoms, and you're going to have autonomic involvement as well. And how will that dysautonomia manifest? with things like sinus tachycardia, postural hypotension, impaired diaphoresis, urinary retention, constipation, and so forth. Always be aware for the rare proximal variant of uh, guillain barr and Miller-Fisher syndrome. An easy way to remember the clinical features of this entity are uh, ophthalmoplegia, ataxia, and aleflexia, OAA. Quick fire again, guys, five A's of guillain barr It's acute and onset, gives you an ascending pattern of weakness, typically aleflexic on your neurological assessment. There's associated sensory symptoms and autonomic involvement, AAAAA. All right, God bless you, and thanks for joining me. I'll see you tomorrow with another handy mnemonic. Take care.